Hello, Maurice Dimba is my name. Welcome to part two of the storage tank modeling. Today we are going to work on the on the tank bottom plate and the general foundation layout of this tank. This one here, which we did all these in part one. If you have time, can go back to part one and start following from, from there. We will just kick off from this point. From this, we'll come to view, come to just switch to plan. From plan here, we'll come to steel. We'll pick steel beam. We'll actually snap here. Let's and snap here. That's perfect. Click to confirm or to check the length. It's 3.18. I'm doing this just to guide us through on creating the basement, the base of the of the tank. Now from here I'll come to edit. On edit I'll be looking for point location. This will guide us on where to place our points. That will guide us in creating the bottom plates. I'll snap at that end. I'll come to points again. I'll pick any. Zoom out. I'll snap it there. Now what I'm going to do, I'll highlight that and zoom in and highlight this, that point. I'll right click, I'll click copy. Now I want to copy this. I'll just place my cursor there and don't click. I want a, a length of 4.5 meters. I'll just type on my keyboard 4.5 meters and enter that. These points will be will be given a, will be given an offset of 4.5 meters. So you have to be keen on uh, on tracing the location of these points. You can switch back to top view, navigate with mouse, are we able to see the beam we created, switch back to the bottom view, There it is, and our points are here. Our points are here, one and two. Now what I'm going to do, I'll check the level, which is not necessary, we just delete that. Delete that. So we have our point one, two. If you Try to rotate this. You'll be able to see the points. One, two. Three, four. Now I'll come to steel. I'll click plate. I want to locate our points here, but to have a clear view, I have to rotate this. I'll press Control 2. 
I'll be able to locate that one there. One and two. Another one here. And another one here. And we go back to the last point. That is the plate we wanted to create. Now, what we're going to do is to bring back our initial view or representation. We press Control 4 to get back where we were. Come to navigate, rotate with mouse, turn this round. There we are. We want to increase the thickness of this plate from 10 millimeter to 30. Apply that and accept. Double click on this, come to come to position instead of front give it behind and apply it will flash with the bottom of the curved plate you can confirm that our next move is to copy all this need several of these click copy just now put that corner and link it up with this link it up with this link it up just go on and link everything Up that link up that link up that perfect. Our next control select all this, don't click on the grid. Control select all these. Right click, click copy. I'll pick this. From here. Pick that from that spot. And bring it here. In the middle here, the middle of this plate, just click expand. Right click copy. I'll pick the midpoint of this plate. That midpoint and zoom out and link it up with this end. I'll do the same thing here. Just snap it there. Let's click expand. I'll do the same thing here. Just click it there. Nice. Right click, click, right click, copy. And continue that way. I'll snap this one here. I'll snap there. 
Let's zoom out. Make sure your picking point is accurate and place this one here. I'll place this here. Place it there. Then place this one here. Place it here. Click expand. And place this one there. Perfect. Our plates are well arranged. Now copy this that to that copy that from that spot to this spot and that one to this spot right click zoom out Click this, press control and select that and select this. Right click, click copy. Pick this one from this spot and place it here. Expand. Perfect. Now what we are going to do is just to trim unwanted parts but prior to doing that there are some parts you can just get rid of without trimming like that like this like this like this the rest are required this one we don't need, this one we don't need, this one we don't need, the rest we require. Now we'll switch back to isometric view. Now we want to trim off all this. We'll come to edit trim using line cut we'll click on that and snap there and snap here let's zoom closer make sure you snap on the right spot snap there we'll click on the part to remove you don't need that part we'll come back again we want to remove that part. We'll snap here and snap here and remove that. Right click, trim using line. We want to remove this. We'll snap there and snap at that end and click on the part to remove. You can have a look on what you're doing. Rotate about that spot and you, you'll be able to see the trimming. Click that. Come to edit. Trim using line. You don't need that. You'll snap at that end and run all the way to that end and click the part you want to remove. As simple as that. Now we'll continue like that till we remove everything. Click that. Snap there and snap at the very end. 
or in cut snap there and snap here line cut snap there and snap somewhere here somewhere there click this snap there and snap somewhere here and click the part we want to remove this that and bring it and just bring it here zoom out and bring this one here remove that part that that and this we'll turn this round to make your visibility more clear to enable us perform what we're doing better now we'll click that snap there and snap here and click on the parts you want to trim off click on this that and this remove that click this right on the foot there and click there and click the part to remove click this snap it down there and bring it here click the part to remove navigate rotate with mouse turn this round that part to be removed there and snap there this part to be removed right there and right here click that to remove off click this snap the bottom there and snap here Click that to remove that off. Click this. Snap there. And snap here. Click that to be removed. Do the same thing. Right at the bottom there. Right at the bottom here. Rotate this by rotating with the mouse. Right click, click on the part to remove, snap there, and snap here and click the part to remove, click here, snap there, and snap here, click that part to be removed off, click this, and click this click that and trim this off we are close to the very end of the, of the, of the trimming of unwanted parts and remove that click 
click on this snap down there and snap at this end then click the part to be removed click that I'll snap here don't allow the cursor to control you you have to control it just snap this one here rotate with mouse move that click this snap there and zoom out and snap here remove that part right click come to navigate under view and come to rotate with mouse you want to rotate about that spot and turn this round we've actually done this and created the bottom end of our, of our tank there is an extra plate that is not necessarily required this one we will delete it now we'll come to rotate with mouse rotate with that about that spot now if you switch back to plan view this is it this is our profile you can control to and see the display control 4 and see that display switch back to isometric view and turn this round now our very next move is to create the foundation layout for this and press control 2 I'll come to concrete I'll pick column I'll zoom out just zoom out I want to locate the center of this I'll place my column there press control 4 double click on this come to position it's slightly negative 10 apply that We can increase the thickness of this by double clicking and come to position and increase this to two meters. To come about or to create this foundation with this di with this diameter, once you've created the column right at the center here you'll be prompted with the rectangular column once you've done that you just come to click double click on the column this dialog box will come up you just pick or click select once you've clicked select this will come automatically and pick rod once you've picked rod come to this value and change this to a diameter that suits your foundation layout for your tank that's all about this the foundation
on how to set it up with the thickness of your requirement. I'll accept all that because I had already done this now. It, will, it, it has just defaulted on what I did previously. But I've shown you, I've showed you how to go about that. Just turn around and have a look at this. Now, next thing we are going to do is to create some reinforcement down here. We we'll come to steel, come to steel beam, click curved beam. We'll click down here and there. Not accurate, need this to be more accurate on point location. I'll snap here. I'll get the middle point of this and uh, go to the, the third point. That's it. Come to view under view, go to navigate, rotate with mouse, rotate about that spot. Bring this to zero zero level. Front. Navigate. Turn this round to see whether what you require is what is available. Now double click on this again and come to position. We'll, give, we'll, we'll select either left or right. We'll pick left, right first. And that's it. We'll change this to an angle, angled profile, RS, RSA, which is down, which is down here. We we'll pick. 200 with 200 and 200 by 200 by 24 thickness we'll apply that apply that apply that navigate and turn this round Make sure it is not sinking inside the split. I will click this. And what you do, type here zero. One. Make sure it's out. At 20. Or 15. I think it has just flashed properly. To make sure that what we are doing is correct. Just come there. Rotate that. Rotate this. Click this, come to position, this will increase the segments by a thousand, 
make the bend so smooth or the curve so smooth click outside we'll click on that come to position put 10 there 8 there it's not flashing properly. Five and zero. Perfect. Apply that. Now click this or come back there, click RAD double click on that double click there this should be 12 this should be 50 or 40 is ok let's put 35 Modify, apply, and accept. Click that and click and press the middle button on the mouse and, and come to the middle point here. And try to locate our midpoint, which is that. Let's switch to our plan view. And be able to locate the X and Y axis. Now we want to locate the X axis. Let's press Ctrl 2. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis and we just press the middle button and zoom out press ctrl 4 to get you back to your initial view rotate this Click that and rotate this. Turn this round. We'll close this to give us more space. When you switch back to end view, this is our end view, this is our foundation. Isometric view, that's it. Turn this round. Now this is our tank inside view. Thanks a lot. My name is Amoris Dimba. And uh, don't forget to, sub to subscribe to this channel after watching this video for more videos to come. Now the next episode will be... putting the ladder and placing our
top the rooftop of our of our fuel tank but prior to placing the rooftop of our, of our tank we'll need to put some simple truss inside supported with the main column right from the steps so from the center thanks a lot what is doing by my name so again if you're new to this channel welcome don't forget to subscribe and bye thank you